I'm Akim. It's your brother Malcolm coming at you with uh, another lesson in truth, giving all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh by Shem Nawa Shai. Uh, double honors unto the apostles and elders of GMS. And salutation to you, Akim, out there that are doing this work on the four corners of the earth that are risking your lives and your freedom to do so. To you, I say Shalom. Um, this is another episode of Truth Further Exposing. Uh, these heathens, these Edomites with their false uh, 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 plantation, colonialized Christianity um, and also these false brethren who have been deceived by the left hand side okay, because we're going to talk about the right and the left hand side and that Yahweh Shai, which is our Lord and Savior who the world ign ignorantly calls Jesus, Jesus Christ he sits at the right hand side of the Father, and that Satan uh, does his bidding off the left hand side. And we're going to prove that with scriptures. For anyone who has anything to, to, you know, coming with their own opinion that doesn't have any precepts to back up their nonsense, you know, we could care less about what you think and feel. So without any further ado, let's jump right into it. This is Job, the second chapter, and it reads And again, there came a day. When the sons of power came to present themselves before Yahweh, and Satan came also among them to present himself before Yahweh. The same account is in Job, the first chapter, the sixth verse. And Yahweh said unto Satan, From whence comest thou? And Satan answered Yahweh and said, From going to and fro, fro in the earth and from walking up and down it. All right, what's the same account is mentioned in Job chapter 1 verse 7 Here's what you just witnessed This has completely destroyed the Christianity doctrine That Satan was kicked out of heaven And that he's fighting against the most high He's reporting to the Lord And obeying him His every command and doing what he's ordered Alright And also Being that all uh, Fake and false Christianity Derives from The Catholic religion which is pushed by the so-called white man who inherited that when he hijacked it, when he took over uh, Europe and pushed the Israelites that was left um, out of, out of uh, Europe, okay? When he took over Portugal and Spain, he inherited that, okay? And he pushed that mark of, uh, that mark of death, that whole to and fro and up and down. That's what those Catholics do. And to prove that what I said is accurate and correct, Here's a biblical, uh, a Bible dictionary, all right, which was put together by, it's a Thomas Nelson Bible dictionary, all right, um, pocket reference in series. So the scholars of, of Thomas Nelson, you know, they put this together, and here it is, and there it is. The cross is nothing but an X turned on its side. Okay, it's the mark of death. It's the Roman numeral 10, which means you have been X'd out. You have been killed. So Satan was making an X looking what he was going to kill or destroy. So it's just quite ironic that every time you see a, a silly Catholic go by a church, a Catholic church, that they put the mark of death on themselves. And then they say that they're blessing themselves. You're putting the mark of de death on you. And the only place it's referenced in the Holy Scriptures is in the book of Job 1 and the book of Job, the second second chapter. When Satan does it, that was just an extra tidbit for you. And I'm going to read it said the um, the definition it says cross. The cross is as a means inflicted death in the most cruel and shameful way was used by the Phoenicians from whom it passed to the Greeks and the Romans. All right. And Phoenicians were Hamites, so-called Africans today. OK, that lived in uh, the land of Canaan which Esau loves to make them white in movies because that that's because you know it's going to be kind of hard to 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 let Israel let the Israelites be pale complected when the Phoenicians are you know the you know the Phoenicians are are, are brethren to the Canaanites and you know the Philistines are the people that the the Israelites were fighting and that would be an awful embarrassing and hard thing to explain if they showed the Phoenicians being what they really are all right. Anyone who wants to argue that, go back and watch the history of the Middle East. Start with part four and five, then read and then watch one through three. OK, but it said the Phoenicians 
from whom it passed to the Greeks and the Romans is consisted of two beams of wood nailed one to another in the form of an X or T or a plus sign. The last, which is the most familiar to use in art, was uh, probably the shape of, of Hamashiach's cross. So there it is. That's uh, the definition came out of uh, the Nelson Bible Dictionary, Pocket Bible Dictionary. Okay. Going back to Job, chapter uh, verse three, to, uh, verses two and three. And Yahweh said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in earth, a perfect and upright man, one that feareth power, and it sheweth evil? And still hold it fast his integrity, although thou movest against him to destroy him without cause. All right. So in which Esau has a, the and, and the so-called white man who is Esau Edom has that spirit of Satan to destroy things without cause, because that's what they do to, to, to the plant life, to the animal life, to human life. This is what they do. OK. Uh. Jumping down to verse five, put forth thine hand now and touch his bone and his flesh, and I will cause thee to thy and he would curse thee to thy face. What he's saying is to give me license, put forth thy left hand. So Satan is asking for permission to harm uh, Job because he's already killed his family and took all his, his belongings from him and made him poor. But he still kept his integrity and didn't curse the most high. So now he's asking for permission to lay his hand on him. And then Yahweh says, verse 6, And Yahweh said unto Satan, Behold, he is thine hand, but save his life. So the Lord, Yahweh, the Most High himself, gave his servant Satan, his left hand, the, the permission to put to inflict pain and suffering on Job, but not to kill him. The Christian doctrine is a lie. Christians are liars. They do not follow this Bible. All right. When you go to Acts the 13th chapter in this book, in the Holy Scriptures, it tells you in the 11th chapter around the 26th verse is that is when the, the uh, disciples be, began to be, called, to, been to be called Christians. The disciples were all Israelites. All right. So the truth of the matter is to be a, a true Christian, you're an Israelite. And what were the disciples following? What were they teaching? They were teaching from the book of the prophets, the Old Testament. That's what they were teaching. Okay. To further prove this point, I'm going to go. Actually, I'm going to get a definition about the left hand and the right hand. So here's the left hand. Uh, this is coming out of the uh, Winston Simplified Dictionary Encyclopedia Edition, 1933. Okay. Left hand. Left handed. Situated on the left side. Sinister. Okay. Um, when you go to left-handed, going down to definition four or five, which are uh, um, keeping in context, it's just awkward or malicious. Your left-handed King David and, and the Most High himself had warriors that fought with the left and the right-hand side. All right, it's a gift if you can fight with your left-hand side. Those are some of the most feared and dangerous warriors because they do everything that you've been trained to do just as well off the opposite side. Most, most fighters are used to facing people whose techniques are very similar to their own and they learn to counter someone who throws just like them. It's awkward when someone uh, uh, is opposite of you. You know, that takes a different level of training to even deal with it. For example, if you got a, a left-handed... Uh, kickboxer or left-hand boxer that you have to face, you have to bring in other sparring partners that, that fight that way to get you accustomed to it or you will get sleeped. All right? This is uh, the right hand. It says, of pertaining to or situated on the right side, um, the opposite of the left, chiefly relied upon. And that would be explained the position of Yahweh Shah. He sits at the right-hand side of the father. And he's chiefly relied upon because the Most High gave him the power to create everything, including the rest of the angels and the spirits and the, the elect. Okay. Moving on to prove the point further. This is a short, quick, precise lesson. 
going to go to the book of Kings to seal this thing up. All right. This is uh, 1 Kings, the 22nd chapter, starting at the 19th verse. And he said, Hear thou therefore the word of Yahweh. I saw the Lord sitting upon his throne, and all the hosts of heaven standing by him on his right hand and on his left. All right. And Yahweh said, Who shall persuade Ahab that he may go to fall in Ramoth Gilead? And one said on one matter, on this matter, and another said on, on, on that matter. And there came forth a lion spirit and stood before Yahweh and said, I will persuade him. And Yahweh said unto him, Wherewith? And he said, I will go forth and I will be a lying spirit in the mouth of his prophets. And he said, Thou persuadest him and prevail also. Go forth and do so. The Lord ordained this spirit, who's a left-hand side minion of Satan, to go forth and, and, and be a lying spirit in the mouth of this man's prophets, the false prophets. Just like there's lying spirits talking to guys now. Telling guys that uh, we can't talk about Esau. How can you teach the Bible without talking about Esau? Okay. Guy saying that Esau won't be done away with. All right. It's a it's an uh an epidemic or, or a catastrophe of an oil spill, man. Like the horizon of these of these Israelites out here, man. And they don't even know it that their engines about to lock up because they still running full steam ahead, not paying attention to the engine light that's flashing. All right. <clears throat> Verse 22, and Yahweh said unto him, wherewith? And he said, and I will go and I will be a lying spirit in the mouth of, of his prophets. And he said, thou shalt persuade him and prevail also, go forth and do so. Now, therefore, behold, Yahweh hath put a lying spirit in the mouth of all these prophets. And Yahweh hath spoken evil concerning thee. And it tells you in Isaiah that the Lord does evil and good. That he creates these things. All right. Period. Okay. Uh, let me get a uh, just a couple precepts real quick. This is uh I'm gonna go to the book of uh, Judges. Actually, three precepts. Book of Judges nine and three. Just to solidify this point. Nine and twenty-three. And Yahweh sent an evil spirit between Ambalek and the men of Shechem, and the men of Shechem dealt treacherously with Ambalek. So the Lord does that, man. For all this Christian doctrine, God is love and love, love, love. No, he's not. You're a liar and you don't know the scriptures. Okay? Job, uh, back in the book of Job, Job 12 and, uh, and 16. And it reads... With him is strength and wisdom, and the deceive and the deceiver are his. So these men that go out and smile and lie, they trim their ways to get views, to get popularity, or make money. All right, because that's exactly what they're doing. All right, and then pr proud about it. They're deceived, man. And because some of them, uh, especially some of them that were that were months among us, um. I look at them and it's, I don't think that they believe, they think that, I don't think that they know or aware that they're lying. They really believe in, in, in the delusion that's been set upon them, man. Like I said, I used to be angry with them, man. And I kind of, I almost feel sorry for these guys, man, because they really believe what they're saying. Okay. One more scripture. This is Ezekiel. Uh, 14 and 9. And it reads, and if a prophet be deceived when he has spoken a thing, I, Yahweh, have deceived that prophet. And I will stretch out my hand upon him and will destroy him from the midst of my people Israel. So, unfortunately for these, for these guys that's out here doing that, telling these lies, man, and deceiving Israel, death and destruction is coming for them. With that, I'm going to say, Shalom.